Good morning, everybody. Now that I came to live, Spirit of Coffee, got my coffee here. <laughs> Slytherin, that's great. Uh, for those of you who know Harry Potter, I am a Slytherin through and through. I've accepted it. <laughs> okay, so I want to get started. It's going to be a totally different Spirit and Coffee today. Um, you know, I've been talking about the crazy, about standing with your staff, standing in spiritual integrity. Um, and all of these other beautiful things. And today, um, because I've been seeing it and because it's on my mind and because I have, I feel like I have to at least add to the conversation. Oh, let's see. Okay, so uh, this audio is going to be weird. Okay, let me see if I can fix the audio real quick. Hold on. Just give me a second. <laughs> All right, let's see if that helps. Maybe or maybe not. I hope. Uh, I hate when this goes crazy because it drives me nuts. Hello? Okay, if this doesn't work, I'm going to get frustrated. I'm just going to go live on my Facebook uh, without the ca this camera and connection because it drives me nuts. Just give me a second. Give me a moment. I want to see if it works. Yeah, it's not working. Hello? Hi. I don't know who just got on here. Tell me if the audio sounds really awful. Because sometimes it does that, and I don't even know why. And I'm trying to figure out technology. And the technology drives me nuts, and I don't know how to fix it, and it drives me nuts. Okay. But good morning to whoever's on here. I don't know who it is. Please say good morning so I know you're here. Um, and if my audio sounds like crap, let me know. Maybe I'll just get back on, off and on. I don't know what's going on here. Ugh. Frustrating. Hi. Okay. Let me know if the audio is not good. Hello. Hello, Hannah. Okay, so I really want to talk about this uh, because I think it's important. I keep seeing things pop up. Um, different friends that I have, uh, you know, particularly males, right? Um, so I had a friend yesterday write a post about women, and I've had these posts come up where these guys are asking, "Good morning, Cecile," asking about what do women want. What, you know, um, this guy talked about, you know, when I I landed the girl that I really wanted because I read this book. <laughs> so now these men are trying to understand us when I think, um, you know, in the 80s and the 70s or, you know, the 90s, you know, women were reading about men and trying to figure out men. And then there was that book, women are from Mars, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, men are from Mars, whatever it was. I never read these books because I particularly don't give a two about it, but <laughs> I think that it's interesting the dynamics of what's happening. And I think it's because I felt like, why should I go try to figure out what men want? Why can't men figure out what we want? Or why can't it be a mutual thing? And what I felt like was happening in the world was that all of the women were sort of trying to win over a man. Okay. And this, and this is not by fault or that it's right, wrong, or good or bad. It, it was by design. Design in the fact that ages ago, right, um, you were married off to families and at a young age. Um, there were um, young girls being married off to these men. Um, they had dowries and they still do in certain parts of the country, in certain countries. They still do arranged marriages. Um, where, you know, the women are raised a certain way. And this was the way they were raised up, 
They were groomed to be wives. They were groomed to be mothers. They were groomed to be the, you know, the lady of the house. Things have changed quite, quite so. And, you know, this is not a, a talk about feminism or any, any such thing. This is really about what I see happening in life and the rise of the sacred feminine. Beautiful in its own right, because men are there are certain men out there that are now starting to inquire about what women really want. They're trying to understand us as, you know, our unique self. Now, we're human. Here's the deal. We're human. We're all human. We all want interconnection. Everybody does. Everybody wants to have that social connection to somebody. Everybody wants to be connected to people. Um, and so basically what's happening is that we see that men feel disconnected from women. Why? Especially in the Western world, because women in the Western world and other parts of the world, um, but I can speak for the Western world, that's where I live, is that we don't need men. And I don't mean that we don't need men for companionship. I mean, we don't need them for survival. <laughs> it, it Before, it was almost like we needed men for survival. And that was sort of the construct. That was sort of the idea that we had to have a man in order to survive through whatever it was. And, and if we didn't, we didn't have really a purpose almost. Um, and I, I mean, I even see this in my own family. Right. I think, you know, my mom, I see the way she was raised up totally different from me, who was completely independent, it was like, oh, I could just do it on my own. I don't you know what I mean? What do I need that for? If I can get a job, if I can go to school, if I can do all these things and do it for myself. And so I think that what has happened is there's this little bit of fear. Now men are starting to say, wow, you know, women they're intelligent, they're smart, they're not just stay at home people that have children and they're children bearing individuals. It's beyond that at this point. It's it's really, a, it's like, get to know me. Now, tell me in Facebook if it's coming up because it's gonna drive me nuts. Something is so important. If not, I'll go back and do just do it on Facebook and just talk to my Podbean listener, listeners at this time. But Literally, women, right, have come to this point where we're just fed up. I mean, that's how I feel. I'm fed up. I don't know how, you know, other women might agree or not agree. Um, and it, please chime in, women, if you are brave enough to do so or just ready to say, we're tired of men not listening. Shut up and listen to us. How about that? <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to say it plain and simple. It doesn't sound very nice. I know it's not supposed to be a cozy conversation, but shut up and listen to us. Listen to what we have to say, because what we have to say is probably <laughs> very wise. And why? Women have to grow up faster than men do. Okay. This is why we have a period. We bleed every month. Okay. That is something that is not, it's sometimes it's not very fun, especially in a society that doesn't accept it, right? Or doesn't say, oh, guess what? You don't have to come into work for seven days while you bleed. No, we have to push through that. We have to allow ourselves to bleed. Plus, if we are living our own lives, we have to work through that. Now, it was an uncomfortable conversation to have back in the 70s and 80s. People were embarrassed of it. I'm not embarrassed. I will tell men I'm on my period, I'm bleeding, and I need to go to the restroom, or this is what's going on, or I'm on my period right now, I feel drained. I, you know, and I tell them I'm menstruating. Simply tell them the truth. It is part of life, it is who we are. But it was shamed, especially in corporate America and all this stuff. And so it was a very much a patriarchal world. It still is. And now women, as they're starting to rise to power, things are changing. The dynamics changing. The conversations changing. Men are starting to see that women don't need men when it comes to security and, and living life. But we need them in terms of companionship, of course. We, well, we don't need them, but we don't need anything really. But we like companionship, connection, 
to be able to have a conversation. Now, here's the deal. I know on most part for men are visual um, and it's about, oh, does she look good? Does this, this who gives it? You know, the reality is get over it. <laughs> get over the looks. Looks only last for so long. You could looks only last for like a short amount of time. And looks go away. Like, what are you looking for? And that's the thing. It's like, I think that for me, and I'm only going to speak for myself, you women can chime in, like I said before, is that for me, you know, it's, for, it's, 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 it's nice to hear say, oh, you're beautiful, this and that, the other. Yeah, but do you, do you want to get to know me as a person? Who gives a shit what I look like? Because I don't always look beautiful. There's days, yesterday, I didn't look so beautiful because I didn't feel good. I was tired. And I don't care. I get on here and do my spirit and coffee anyway. Today, I feel better, so I look better, right? I look more vibrant. I, but am I always going to look vibrant and beautiful? No. No. <laughs> it's the It's the personality that transcends the physical look and attraction. And I think that some women are just tired of being looked at as objects, okay? Literally. Like, it's it's... It's flattering, yes, but it's annoying at times, too, because it's like, I don't always look like this. Neither does every, you know, we post our best pictures of what we look like and all that kind of stuff. And that's cool. It's because we feel good, right? We're feeling good about ourselves. We're like, ooh, I'm going to post my picture. But what about the times we don't? I don't care. I have posted pictures in my pajamas and whatever. It is what it is. Accept us fully for we are. Don't accept us at all. How about that? Listen, so, you know, for men who are curious about what do women want, what is it that they, we all want something different. We all have different goals. We're not all the same. You know, we all have aspirations. But the one thing that I, I think is common is listening to us. Listen to us. Listen to what we have to say. Don't make it a burden. If it's a burden to you, then don't even get to know me. <laughs> I like to talk a lot. If you can't handle that, it probably ain't for you. <laughs> I also listen, though. I like to listen too. Um, but it's such a—it's just such an interesting dynamic that I see that these guys are starting to try to figure women out. They're like, "What? I'm not." I, and it was just kind of interesting that I saw these two posts of, you know. This well, this guy keeps asking about women on Facebook, right? And I'm like, he's like, what do women want? I'm like, we want a lot of things. And he's like, well, teach us. I'm like, I do. I I put on spirit and coffee Monday through Friday. You want to get to know what I like? It just hop onto my podcast. <laughs> That's me. Um, but it's <laughs> so we want a lot of things, right? As women, there. I mean, it's not just one thing. I mean, if you find a woman interesting, here's the thing. Find a woman interesting, get to know her and what she likes. It's that simple. You know, it's, it's <laughs> if a guy's truly interested, like, he'll get to understand you, like, completely. Like, he'll say, oh, yeah, okay, well, you know, people should know I like coffee. It's, like, obvious. <laughs> Especially if they follow me on Facebook, right? I'm like, if you follow me on Facebook, you don't know I like coffee and you're going to ask me out then, and you don't know what to do. Hello? <laughs> Listen. Pay attention. Um, and I just think it's funny. And, and I wanted to talk about it. And, I, you know, I think it'd be an interesting podcast to just have just about, you know, women and talking about it. Because some man has apparently wrote a book about what women want. And uh, the guy who put it up there, he put the book or whatever. He's like, um, it's called 3% Man. I'm going to read that book. I just want to see what this man has to say. I said, why are you going to a man to write about what women want instead of just going to women? Like, go to the source. Hey, go to a man who studied. Good morning, Doreen. Oh, thank you for telling me I knew it. I think I'll just get back on here and do a Facebook Live Um without uh, this and just redo it. I probably need to because 
I don't know why the audio does that sometimes. It's just weird to me. I don't understand it. It's frustrating. I'll get back on here on my regular one. So I'm going to stop the Facebook and I'm going to continue on my Podbean and then I'll get back on Facebook and I'll just do it from my old school style. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So love you guys on Facebook. Bye. So um, continuing with the podcast Podbean, Hannah, I don't know if you're still on here. Um, not a huge audience on Podbean for this, but that's fine. Um, but again, I talking about, you know, what do women want? What it to me, right? Um, I think that question is just a loaded question. And I think that men, right? <laughs> if a man is interested in you, he should get to know what you like and what you want. That's what I believe. And I, here's what I think, and especially in Western society. And I think we've not even in Western society, anything around the world, we've allowed men to just run amok. We've allowed them to just be free, go to brothels, do all this weird shit. Okay. And then we just accepted it and, and sort of allowed that to unfold. Okay. Now I'm not saying that women haven't engaged in this stuff and all that, but they were might've been raised into it. But typically in society, if you were not a proper lady, you were seen and ostracized as somebody bad. And it took a lot for women to break those chains and say, Hey, you, you, you don't own me. Uh, you can't dictate who I am as an individual or a person that I have this sense of, of, of being and, and I'm a God of child, I'm a child of God as well. And I have the ability and capability of fending for myself. Like I don't need someone to rescue me. The damsel in distress has always been sort of the thread that we've seen throughout society. Oh, come rescue me. We don't need to be rescued. That is not the point. It would be nice to have a partner, an individual that we can connect with, that we can have that interpersonal connection with, an individual who can engage in conversation and can be friends. I don't need to be saved. Now, I'm not saying that, and I, here's what I'll say, is that men typically want to feel like they're fixing something, and I get that. I'm not saying we need to take that role away from them completely, but meet us at the same place. Like, be be on the same, you're not above me. I don't need you to rescue me. I, we can do this ourselves. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, OJ28. So I feel like, and please chime in, you guys, um, on the Podbean um, podcast. It It's really interesting um, because I just feel like women, um, and <laughs> we're just fed up. Let's just put it that way. Eventually, we're just going to get fed up, and we're starting to come together and unite. And I think that society in the past has done a really good job at trying to keep us separated from one another for a purpose because Women coming together is a powerful force. It's a power beyond um, what even men coming together. And the reason why, right, it's not that we're better. It's not anything like that. It's because we have the ability to hold life within us. That we can bear life within us. And we can also bear pain more than even men can, believe it or not. Our pain threshold has to be higher. I mean, we're pushing out a... You know, if you're pregnant, you're pushing out a big old kid out of a tiny hole. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> or you're menstruating. Now, I don't know if we were meant to have cramps, but I do. And I have pain every month. So we have this pain threshold that's beyond. It's huge. Right? And so for men to understand, I think women are just, we're fed up. And I'm speaking for myself, right? I'm fed up. I'm fed up because I'm like, you know what? I could do it myself. I have more peace by myself than I do with somebody in my space. So it's like, what is it that can be offered? How can I offer something to you and you offer something to me? Not one-sided, right? It's not a one-sided thing. But as we continue to see women start to stand on their own two feet and not 
not have to depend on a man for for that security, we're going to see the dynamics change. And we're going to see men are going to be like, we're losing our grip. We're losing our hold. You know, we can no longer just be sleeping around all over the damn place with all these women and lying and cheating and doing whatever the hell y'all think you can do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking directly to anybody in particular. Um, it's just what I see happening in society, right? It's, it's my viewpoint and what I see. And tell me you see something different, please. I would love to hear this, um, that you hear that you see something different in society. I see men just going around, sleeping from person to person to person, lying. I'm not saying women don't do this, right? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying this is what I see from my perspective. And that women are starting to be like, I do this on my own. And I see more women, especially ones that are completely educated and and successful at their careers say you know what i don't need all that nonsense it's a waste of my time stop wasting my time i'm not here to waste yours please don't waste mine our time is valuable and precious and that's the thing for me and this is something that's really been big for me for this particular year right is that my time is precious I will give you as much as you give me. I am not going to go above and beyond for individuals that don't go above and beyond for me. Why? I've done this my whole life. That's part of who I am. Why? Because I'm a giver. I love people. I love to give. I love to, and I, I give with my whole heart. And sometimes I give so much that I'm not getting anything on the other end. Well, why the hell am I doing that to myself? I'm doing it to myself. No one's doing that to me. There's boundaries that have to be set. That's what we, we're starting to see with women. They're setting boundaries. Those boundaries are huge, right? The boundaries are, 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 are significant for us. We're saying, hey, quit wasting my time, dude. I don't have time for this. I don't know what games you're playing. I don't have time to play games, okay? A real powerful woman is going to say that it's going to do that it's going to catch on to some game a guy's trying to play with her she's going to catch on quickly and be like dude get away go 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 like i say here's me look i'm not saying there are women who want to have fun and da, 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 and as long as there's a mutual understanding that's up to them right but I can tell you that a powerful woman who is successful, who can fend for herself, who doesn't need someone to come rescue her, okay? And this is me talking as a powerful woman, as a successful woman. I'm alone. Why? Because I don't want to deal with bullshit. That's the reality of it. I don't want to deal with bullshit, okay? There, you don't have to bring in bullshit. And like, honestly, it's okay. I'm not making people wrong. I want to know who people are and where they're at. If a man is not where I'm at, that's okay. There's nothing wrong. But if you want to get to know a powerful woman, listen to her. <laughs> listen. It's that simple. <laughs> get to know her. And she'll get to know you and it's a mutual thing, but don't waste her time. Stop wasting people's time, please. Or do, or I don't care. If you wanna do that, that's your choice. But I'm saying stop. Really, time is too valuable and time is of the essence at this point because we have so much that is going on right now. There is so much going on in the world. People are starting to recognize what is important. Women are really starting to get fed up they're like, no more games. We're just, we can do it on our, on our own. And I'll just rather be alone because it's easier because for us, it doesn't mean we don't want companionship. We just want quality men. That's it. That's all we're asking for. Quality men that are not playing games. Why are men playing games with women? I don't get it. Like, what does it feed for you? Your ego, your pride, your what? So just stop. Or don't. It's up to you. But we're going to see more and more and more and more and more and more women get fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up. And then guys are going to be like, oh, now what? 
<laughs> now, how do we get to understand women? How do we come to understand women? And that's what I see. I see these men are trying to understand us, which is good. Why wouldn't you want to understand women? We're not just a commodity. <laughs> We're human, okay? We're people. Okay. We're not just looks. We're not just a body. We're not just flesh. We're not just something that maybe you can sleep with and have fun with. We're beyond that. We have emotion and we have feeling just like you, just like men. <laughs> We're all human. Okay. There's a good movie that I will tell you, uh, thin line. It's a thin line. It's a Martin Lawrence. And that movie is a really good movie about what will happen if you mess with the wrong woman and play games. And he learns his lesson. I pretty much think so. He learns his lesson in the movie. And that's just it. Why play with people's emotions? What is What are you getting out of it? What are you gaining out of it? Be honest. That's another thing. I've had conversations with friends like, be honest. So I had somebody, well, is it really bad if somebody's with a bunch of different women? I said, look, it's not that it's bad. It's only bad when those individuals don't know that that person's doing that and they're lying about it. They're saying, oh, you're the only one. And then they're over there with five other women. What the hell? Why, why are you doing that? Like, come on. Oh, no. Just be honest. Why are you hiding it? Are you that much of a coward? Just be honest. Be authentic. That's a spiritual integrity. I was talking about standing on spiritual principle and integrity. That's a spiritual integrity thing for me. If you're not authentic with me, get out of here. You could be honest. I'm not going to judge you. It could. It, it, I, I might not agree with it. And I might say, oh, that's not for me. But at least I know. Just be honest up front. There are people who want to have relations with a bunch of people, but it's the lying. It's the deception. It's the, oh, I'm going to say you're the one so that I can get in your pants. So that what? So that then I can just go and, and say that to five other women and lie about it. That's terrible. Why would somebody do that? That means they're just really, 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 really have a lot of issues going on internally. Or they don't feel worthy. They don't feel like they'd be accepted for who they are if they were sleeping around. Stop playing with people's emotions. It's not cute. Really, it's not. And there comes a point where it gets old. <laughs> Here's the deal. I try to... The thing is, is like people say, well, Natalie, can we go on a date or can we? Okay, sure. Let's go. Let's see. And I don't know if they can handle one time with me because, you know, I literally have no time for bull crap. I just don't. Why? For what? It's a waste of my time. I have all these goals I got to take care of. Somebody who's serious, somebody who really has their shit together and is like, hey, I'm really, it's a, a, a serious inquiry. Okay, let's see. Uh, who knows? I'm open. But don't breach trust, especially at the beginning. If you start right, you stay right. So that's what I'm telling you. You want to get to know women. You want to understand women, which I really feel men should start asking more questions. I think it's a beautiful thing that these guys are doing that. It's amazing to me. I'm like, awesome. The dynamic, the dialogue is changing. I can see a dialogue shift. That's, that would be a paradigm shift where the dialogue starts to go in a whole different direction and you're starting to see things that are starting to surface, right, that you wouldn't have before. The authenticity of a man and the vulnerability of a man to even ask and inquire, to want to know, to have the curiosity to know. Totally different spirit and coffee, I know. But I think it's a topic that's critical. So I'm going to continue on it. And yes, I'm very passionate about it. And yes, you guys will see the cutthroat queen of swords in me when it comes to relationship. Because who has time for games? I certainly don't. It's the truth. I just don't. And I can sniff it out in a second. <laughs> 
I can sniff out your games real quick. <laughs> Just be honest. You know, I can gain a friendship. It's not like I can't be a friend with somebody who says, hey, I want to sleep around. And I'm like, I'm not that girl. Sorry. But I'm sure there's women who would accept that. And there's, but be honest. Just be upfront. And if you're looking for something serious, get to know the girl. Listen to her. Listen. Listen. People don't listen. My last relationship that I tried that lasted <laughs> all of two months, the biggest issue was he did not listen. He was trying to hijack every conversation all the time. I'm like, oh, no, get out of here. <laughs> I like to talk a lot. If you, ain't, if you can't be a good listener, too, and let me tell you what, I let him talk for hours sometimes and I'm like okay and every time I try to talk he'd be like don't interrupt me I'm like oh no I think you gotta go now bye bye kind of gotta go <laughs> that ain't gonna work <laughs> listen to her just listen it's that simple we all have different likes not all women are the same we all have different things we like different goals, different aspirations, you know, some want family, some want to travel, some don't want a family, some just want to have fun, some just whatever it is, you know, but listen. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, like I said, a little bit different. Um, and I think a topic that would be uh, pretty interesting to get individuals to call in for uh, perhaps uh that would be cool. I need to figure out how to do that eventually. So anyway, there you have it. You guys have a great Wednesday. It is Wednesday, right? Have a great Wednesday. And of course, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.